Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my weight loss update video and I'm going to be showing you a few of my favorite foods and snacks and also what I've been doing at the gym lately. So last Saturday I joined the gym, I go to Planet Fitness and I've really been enjoying it and apparently I lost 3 pounds since I joined the gym and I weighed myself like on Tuesday. So that's awesome and first I'm going to show you my favorite foods. So one of my favorite breakfast foods is oatmeal and this is actually my favorite even though it's Stop and Shop brand. This is Stop and Shop Instant Oatmeal Low Sugar and this is in Maple and Brown Sugar. And I just made this right now. So this is what it looks like. It's so good and you don't have to add any extra sugar or cinnamon or anything in it and it's amazing. Um, I've tried the Quaker kind. We got like the big value pack at Costco once. But some of the flavors I didn't like and I feel like the oats are much like you have to cook them a lot longer and they just don't taste as good. So I like the Stop and Shop one and they also have one that's weight control which I think it tastes the same. This just has less sugar so I really suggest that. Another breakfast food I love are liquid egg whites and this is found at Stop and Shop too. It's just in a little carton and I have two of these in my fridge now. And one serving is 30 calories, so uh, one-fourth a cup is one large egg, basically. And I like to scramble these, and they taste amazing. They're so much better than normal eggs now. Like, I never eat normal scrambled eggs anymore. Like, egg whites are my favorite thing, and I put them on an English muffin. The Stop and Shop ones are 90 calories, so they're less than the 100-calorie Thomas ones. So liquid egg whites are amazing next is just like a basic thing this is Splenda instead of using sugar now I've been using Splenda and I like it a lot and I think it saves a lot of calories and even though it's not natural they also have natural sweeteners like I don't know the name of it it's like some weird name so I love Splenda and it's really light it's like fluffy I don't know I, I drink coffee every day, so I need some sugar sugar substance in it. Um, next, for another kind of breakfast, is granola. I don't know what this is. This is Stop and Shop. And it's a little, has a little more calories than an average, like, cereal, but it has more substance in it. So if you have half a cup of this with some skim milk, it's 260 calories. That's not bad. I love putting this with vanilla yogurt, and it's, like, amazing it's kind of like a little dessert sometimes so just like a little scoopful of this and a little yogurt tastes amazing next are my snacks at like lunchtime I don't have a lunch period during the day so I can't really eat a whole sandwich or something like that hold on I'm hungry <laughs> hot. so I can't bring like a whole sandwich or something like that so I really like bringing these natural cheese from Palio, just string cheese, and these have 80 calories in a in a stick, and they're really filling actually. Or the Baby Bell Originals, the Mini Baby Bell, and these are really fun too. I don't know. I think the concept is really cute. So I love cheese. So that's like lunchtime, and then I like fruit a lot. So I have bananas over there. Grapefruit is great for, it like fills you up amazingly. I don't even put honey or sugar on it like I used to. I just eat it plain and I think it tastes amazing. And strawberries are also one of my favorite fruits. And, oh, also I have to show you, share with you my favorite like smoothie kind of thing. There's a thing called the Green Monster and I think the website's greenmonstermovement.com and it's basically a smoothie with spinach, bananas, a little bit of milk, ice, and any kind of fruit you want to put in it. But I like it with bananas and strawberries. And it kind of looks gross when you eat it. And you expect you could taste the spinach. But you can't taste it at all. It tastes like a normal strawberry and banana smoothie. So it's super healthy for you. And it gives you a lot of energy before the gym or after the gym. So check out greenmonstermovement.com, I think. So now, my gym routine. I like to do cardio. So I've been doing... Um, 30 minutes at the least on the elliptical every time I go to the gym and I like to go to the gym like five days a week so yeah um 
So I usually do the elliptical. I don't like the one with the arms because it just bothers me because you have to keep your arms on that or it tells you, it like yells at you basically because it's like, we need to know your heart rate. And I'm like, I don't really want to put my arms there. So yeah, I just like the normal ellipticals or I'll do the exercise bike, but it doesn't, it's not much of a cardio exercise bike. It's more for people who haven't been exercising at all and they just need something. So if I want to do that, I'll do it at the end just for 20 minutes. But I'll do an elliptical for like 25 minutes, so I usually get up to like almost three miles, so that's really good and burns a lot of calories. Um, on my on the meter, it says 10 calories per minute, so that's really good. Um, I'll do that, and then I'll go to the upstairs section, and I'll do crunches on the little ab thing. I don't know what it's called, and I'll do a lot of those, like 20 in the middle, and then you could turn do the sides, I do 20-20, and then I repeat it. So I do that, and then I do the two-leg exercise. It's called hip abductors. So there's one that you push in and one you push out. So I do, like, five sets of 20 on that, fluctuating the weights on it because I like to change it up. So I'll do those, and then I'll do some arm exercises, and basically that's it for weight training because I could do weights at my house, because you could basically lift anything you want, like, ooh, lift up some, I don't know what you want to lift up. So I don't really feel weight training is that necessary at the gym, but that's my just, that's my opinion. But elliptical is my favorite. I haven't done the treadmill yet because, I don't know, I like the elliptical. And what else do I do at the gym? Make sure you stretch afterwards. You don't really have to stretch in the beginning you actually are supposed to only stretch at the end. In the beginning, you want to do, um, like, cardio moves to stretch. So jump roping in place like this without a jump rope or jumping jacks or things like that. So those are my tips. And if you have any questions or if you want another one of these videos, just leave a comment. And I think I'm going to show you how I made, um, what I made the other night, fried rice with white rice instead of brown rice. So yeah, I'll let, let you guys know that and I'll talk to you guys soon.